So, how about the night champions? Well, uh, I got something to say here about that. Well, uh, let's first off calm down. I know people are upset. I know there's some people on YouTube, the whole wrestling people are getting upset, but I didn't really mind. It got a little crazy, but honestly, it's not much to get all, you know, insane or crazy about. But to me, the one real crime here is. Well, John Cena with it. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't hate John Cena. I know no Cena haters. But he sucks or anything else like that. I think he's a really good wrestler. In fact, I think he. I think the match with him and Del Rio was actually pretty good. But the problem is, is that he, the WWE's lack of actually building credible challengers. I mean, let's look back at the last couple champions besides CM Punk. You had The Miz, who was treated like an afterthought during the whole WrestleMania push. You had Jack Swagger, uh, Sheamus during his run, and and now you can basically add Del Rio. I mean, the person, um, you know, these guys, these people who the WWE are putting up as the next big talent, they don't really go uh, far. They're not really pushed as much as, the, you know, Guy. I mean, that's the most important thing. This is really, really uh, a problem. You can't have guys, uh, you know, who can go, you know, you can't have these guys supposed to be main eventers, you know, saying they're going to be main eventers, they're going to be this, that, and the other, but at the end of the day, they're not going to be really, you know, they're not presented as such. Same thing wrong with TNA. They, they don't present them um, as they should. They're not presenting them as they should. They should be, uh, you know, presented with uh, more, you know, like more of an aura of them. If you liked him or hated him, you know, you say this guy really deserves it. He really deserves um, their, their time in the sun. Case in point, you see Mark Henry. You saw what they did. They really made him look good. The build-up was great. And, and honestly, the match was really good. And Mark Henry won the big one. And I actually enjoyed it. And I think this is something that you really felt like. Uh, something that you really felt that Mark Henry really deserved to be top and everything else. This is what you would call a really, you know, that's how you do it. You have an aura around it. When you have someone face Cena, that the aura goes away. Now, I get it. I get it. Cena is the number one guy. He works harder than everybody else. That is, that's important. I will, I, if I had a company, a wrestling company, I would have, you know, I would like to have Cena uh, at top there. You know what I mean? You need someone like Cena to be on, t um, you know, someone that upper mid card, main event, doing all the press junkers, doing all this stuff, being positive. You don't need someone like a Jeff Hardy or Matt Hardy or, you know, Kurt Angle, you know, all the crazy guys out there, you know, doing not what they need to be doing and actually, you know, bringing positive, uh, you know, things to my, you know, company or wrestling company. Out there. You need people like John Cena. In fact, I think if, the, if there was more guys like John Cena, you know, personally and everything else, the business wouldn't be looked down upon like it is. Let's be real here, folks. If if, if there were more people who acted like John Cena, John Cena wouldn't be, you know, mocked and made fun of. Or if someone could say, well, they're all steroid abusing, wife beating, um, you know, drugged out losers who basically pass out during main events and such. You know, we wouldn't have to hang our head down as wrestling fans just to, you know, uh, just to say that we are wrestling fans and everything else. John Cena serves a purpose, and and uh, hopefully we all get that. But the thing about that is, is well, he's well too protected. He's too. There's too much of an aura. And this is a real problem. And I understand that you need a main guy and everything else. But if you keep having this or when he goes, and I think he is going to leave probably in the next one or two years. Because he does have that injury. He does have that, um, you know, he does have you know, those problems, shoulder, torn muscles, and neck. I would not be surprised if him or Orton leave. And once they leave, who are they, who are the guys to step up? They don't have that or. I think Miz is going to be the next guy, but they need to do something more. They need to have that, you know, you know what I mean? They need to have someone 
that not only the aura goes in, but they have to, go, uh, you know, have like a group of guys. You know, it's a team effort. You can't just have John Cena be the one guy because people will not like that. There's a reason why people say Cena sucks. People, that reason why is that he doesn't. It's just the booking, the booking, the aura around him sucks because every time you go against him, you know, there's not really much success. There's not much a, like, oh my goodness, Cena is going to win and, uh, and people are tired of it. And that's the problem. And until that is solved, I mean, it's, I mean, and everything else, he's not, that's the real problem. Cena is not going to go, he's not going to get the real love that he deserves in the wrestling community that he needs. I mean, to me, he does deserve it because he's a more positive attitude. And trust me, if if I do want to look up, if I was a kid or I had a child and everything else, or I had like little cousin and everything else, it's, it's a wrestler to point out and say he's a good guy, follow his actions, or, you know, be a real positive role model, role model, I will pick John Cena. I would, even though I make fun of him having, he really is someone that you can have at least your kids and that you look and follow as everything else. I mean, bare and all, because I really do like how he is, how he handles himself outside the ring and inside and such. As a really good positive role model. But it's that aura. He has to, I mean, I don't blame him. It's the people behind him. Vince, uh, you know, the right creative staff. That's the real anger. And until they get out of that box, and honestly, they don't really need to get out of that box because, well, they're the number one Hey, they're the number one company in the land. They are the top dog. They don't need to work hard. Until they actually get competition or light the fire up in their own butts, they're not going to do anything to see them. It, it could be anyone. And if, if Miz is acting this way, or, or say Bobby Lashley if he was there, or if CM Punk was doing the same treatment as CM, you, uh, well, I mean, if CM Punk was treated like CM is, that same war, would that be a positive thing or a negative thing? Because if you have that aura, you know, people, you're not really bringing something, you know, you're not really having much of a threat. I mean, that's the real problem. And the other thing is that they treated WWE title like garbage again, you know, switching around, which another problem that WWE has. And I talked about ad nauseum about this. We all know the problem is they don't treat the titles with respect. They don't treat them like, you know, what they used to. And that's why people, and that's, <laughs> um, <laughs> that a lot of people, I actually remember someone, um, I know most people don't remember, I don't know, but people don't know who this guy is, uh, local radio DJ here in the D.C. area, Ted Dukes. I'll leave his Twitter down in the link in the description as far as, you know, he said this tweet after, you know, one of the SummerSlam previews, what have you, about the Intercontinental title. Like the moments of the Intercontinental, people were going crazy, like Brett and all this other guy, like Bret Hart, um, you know, British Woodall, and he said, you shouldn't, the WWE, and he tweeted that, I don't know, I'm paraphrasing, but hopefully, you know, hopefully he doesn't watch the videos, and ah, you know, I don't know what happened, but, um, he, he basically, parent, um, you know, basically said this, that the WWE should not be showing how great the titles were, and, and everything else, they shouldn't be showing that, that the greatness of what the titles are, were, because the titles right now, they're not even close to that greatness. They're not even close to that, it's because, well, they don't treat their titles as real championships. They don't treat them as, like, real prized, uh, you know, like, trophies or having, like, I got it, you know, everyone's winning one. You know, there's no real... You know, they don't defend them as much. There's not much pressure. You know, you know, they don't defend them as much. They're not seen as big deals. They're seen as, you know, just, they're not worth it. The, the, the eyes, they don't, in the eyes of the most of the wrestling fans, they're not worth it. They're not worth it. No one cares about them. If you're a champion, it's just a name only. You're not going to do anything much as a name only and everything else. It's just going to really be... Not, not really much of a positive. At, at the end of the day, the WWE are going to have to really address that. Uh, they are going to have to address this situation with the championships and, you know, the whole John Cena and actually build up some talent. 
Other than that, I did enjoy the show. I did. And, um, yeah, I did enjoy the show. I, I did enjoy the whole craziness <laughs> that was. I mean, people complained they want the attitude era, that uh, era, attitude era back. That was basically what the attitude era was. A lot of running finishes, a lot of screwy finishes, and everything else. Trust me, I know people are going to swear off the Monday Night Raw and everything else. And I know what have you, what people are upset. But just calm down. Relax. It's just another page of the story. Don't say you're done. Just Let's just watch the whole thing as an unfolds. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But you know what? I enjoyed it. And hey, these guys are busting the bus and actually do something really interesting. But that's just me. Anyway, this is Big CTV. Peace, love, I'll see y'all when I see y'all.